Channel 5 News. To start your morning off, we will begin with this inspiring story about a student who has cerebral palsy and is on his school wrestling team about to compete in a match. To begin the match, his opponent shook his hand and when the whistle blew, his opponent laid down and pulled him on top and acted as if he was pinned, letting the student with CP win. You could tell the student was beaming with pride when he won. That was a selfless act that has inspired millions already. With tremendous burdens often come enormous gifts. The trick is to identify the gifts and glory in them. The quote was stated by Dr. Mai Shichri Klein, and this story is an exa exact example of what she said. Let's go into farther depth about this disability. Cerebral palsy is a disorder of movement, muscle tone, or posture that is caused by injury or abnormal development in the immature brain, most often before birth. Cerebral palsy affects your muscle tone, ability of movement, and motor skill capability to move in a coordinate, purposeful way. It also affects your vision, hearing, speech, and your learning capability. Miraculously, CP does not get worse over time, but on the other hand, there is no cure. For those diagnosed who are willing to take risks and take time, your cerebral palsy might not disappear, but it can gradually get better over time. With treatment, therapy, special equipment, and even surgery can help tremendously. Also, service dogs can provide a lot of help, and as well as also pr providing companionship. Well, with all of that, we have brought in a cerebral palsy expert, Dr. Tyler. Hello, I would like to thank you for having me on your show. Anytime. I would like to first start off with asking a few questions, if that's okay. Ask away. Great. So first, I'd like to start off with this one. How many people in America are affected by this disease? Well, first off, I would like to say that this is the most common motor disease diagnosed during childhood. Around the world, every 4 in 1,000 births, children are diagnosed. In America, more than 764,000 people have developed several palsy. Wow, that's a lot of people. Well, earlier we asked our viewers to submit questions for you, and I have them right here, so let's begin. First question comes from the viewer Monica Lee from Austin, Texas. She asked, I'm pregnant. Is there any way to prevent my child from being born with CP? Well, certainly, but prevention doesn't always work. But just to be safe, I suggest you make sure you're vaccinated and seek early, continuous care, practice good child safety, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Also, if multiple children are born at the same time, such as twins and triplets, you are at a higher risk for your child to be born with or later to develop several palsy. Well, I hope that helped you, Monica. Next question comes from Trish Baldwin from San Francisco, California. She wants to know what the symptoms are and when do they start developing. Well, there are many different types of symptoms, symptoms some being stiff or fluff, fluff, floppy muscle tone, involuntary movements, delays in reaching motor skill milestones, favoring one side of the body more than the other, difficulty walking, excessive drooling, difficulty eating, delays in speech development, and difficulty with precise motions. These symptoms start to occur either during infancy or their preschool years. Also, just because your child has some of these symptoms does not guarantee they have cerebral palsy, but either way, if you see or notice any of these symptoms, don't let them go unnoticed and tell a doctor. Okay, last question we have time for, from, for is from our viewer Sandy Calloway from Miami, Florida. She wants to know, what is cerebral palsy caused by? Great question. Cerebral palsy is most commonly caused by brain damage before or during the child's birth or during the first three to five years of their childhood. Also, if the childhood was shaken as a baby, that could be a cause of their child developing cerebral palsy. But sometimes your child develops cerebral palsy for unknown reasons that are not clear. Also, a premature birth or a low birth weight could be key factors as well. That's all the questions we have time for, but before we go, is there anything you'd like to add? If I may, I would like to add a few statistics about cerebral palsy. First off, I would like to inform you about the walking ability among 8-year-old children with cerebral palsy. 33% have limited or no walking ability, 11% walk with a handheld mobility device, and 56% walk indibility, walk independently. From some more statistics, in 2006, 60% of 8-year-olds with cerebral palsy had developmental disability, 40% had intellectual dis disability, 35% had epilepsy, and 15% had vision impairment, while 25% have intellectual disability and epilepsy. Thank you so much, Dr. Tyler, but that is all the time we have right now.